Hello everyone. Welcome, welcome, welcome. This is a recording, but we are premiering it live on YouTube. It is Monday, September the 16th, I believe. I normally do a live stream starting at 3.45 p.m. Central Standard Time, but I'm on vacation and I am going to be sharing a junk journal kit or project with you today. You are going to be able to chat during the live premiere, so let's keep that chat upbeat and friendly. You won't be able to post links unless you're one of my admin. A couple of my admin will be here to kind of facilitate the chat. I may or may not be in the chat because I will be getting on a cruise ship and I usually at 345 ish time is when they have what we call the boat drill or safety drill and they don't allow us to be on our mobile devices so if I can I'll be here but please know that I'm thinking about y'all and I'm so grateful and thankful for you for watching and supporting me and art please share this video with your friends and family or even your enemies <laughs> maybe they'll become your friends and of course you know if you have any comments or questions please feel free to ask robin may take a few notes if she sees a question she may try to answer it but do come back and leave a comment in the video after it is finished and know that I'm also going to have a special deal it's, the link will be in the description box of this video and I will also have a Facebook event for this project today and if you come to my shop I have some mini journals that I only have on sale I have 10 of them that if you purchase that mini journal you can also pick out any of the stencils that I have listed in my shop outside of you know the uh, stencil club that's excluded and then of course the subscription boxes are are excluded but if there is a stencil that i sell in my shop that you would like you can click order on the journal and then the comment area say i would like a uh, unicorn stencil i would like the retro panel 2 stencil or i'd like the ribbon rose stencil and when i get back from vacation i will ship those out but also if you make a purchase during this whole week using one of those journals as the main purchased items i will have a drawing for one of the mini journals that i am going to complete today and I will also have a drawing for those who leave a comment, not just the chat, a comment on my YouTube video after they have gone to my webpage and created a user account. If you already have a user account, just comment below. I have a user account at Linda on your webpage. Thanks for the video or whatever you want to say. And then you'll be entered and we'll do a drawing next Monday during the live and those winners will be awarded. All right, so let's get started. So what I've got is the Sea Breeze Digital Journal Kit by Calico Collage. And what I did was I told my computer to take the normally eight and a half by 11 pages and print them as a five by seven photo pack and what that did was it shrunk the images down just a little bit so that I could use them as a small journal and it's approximately five by seven I think my printer shrinks them just a little bit but we've got the journal page here or cover that I'm going to use that I chose I have some of the tags that are part of the kit I went ahead and made this a two-sided page then I have some more of the fussy cut elements like the little pockets and then this is an add-on file that Norella created that says I need vitamin C and I went ahead and printed it at a smaller size because I thought that would better fit the journal then I went ahead and printed some more pages and I've got a couple here and here Oops, they're upside down there and there and this one in there so I plan on making two journals and then I went ahead and printed out some of these images they're an add-on item that Norella has in her shop or one inch squares I use an HP photo printer and I print on either 24 pound premium Xerox paper it's Xerox brand or I use an 80 pound white bright white linen paper for the cardstock elements and then I just kind of grabbed a few other papers and I also have 
some scrapbook papers. So off camera, I'm going to go ahead and trim these out and y'all can chat for a moment and I'll be right back. I've fussy cut all the items. Hopefully I didn't take too long, right? <laughs> the magic of filming ahead of time, I can stop it and start again. Well, again, I hope that y'all are having fun here in the live stream that you're chatting together. So what I'm doing right now is I've got a couple of pieces of paper that I've already trimmed down to be the size of my journal. And a tip I wanna make is I, when I was printing my five by seven photos, I should have told it to fit to page and that would have given me a five by seven. I was reprinting some papers because I thought oh, I may want these to play with. And when I did and I told it to fit to page, the pages are bigger. <laughs> <laughs> so learn from my mistake and make sure you check that box that says fill page to the size or fit to page so you'll get the full size. Well, I've got these two pieces of paper and I thought what we'll do is we'll spray them with some Tattered Angels Glimmers Mist. So I'm just going to put these in my spray box and I'm going to grab the, let's grab the, the net stencil. So this is a stencil that I created. It's in my shop. I drew this on my iPad by hand and then we have a laser so I bring it into our laser software to cut it and I cut it myself. So this is it shipped off somewhere else. Um, so this is all hand done by me and you, when you purchase something from me you're supporting my husband and myself. You're supporting Norella of Calico Collage. You're supporting Tattered Angels. They're a small business as well and then you're supporting the guy that I get my print jobs from. So you're supporting my next door neighbor who does my web hosting. So when you make a purchase from anybody think about who you're supporting and realize that it's not just one person it affects. It's a whole bunch of people and I am thankful for that. I'm thankful to be part of the this, this friendships that I have, these uh, partnerships that I have. I think it's how we should all do life is help each other out. I know I'm rambling, but that's what I do during the live streams too. So I'm going to grab a couple colors of Tattered Angels. I've got Artsy Pertina. That's part of the So Artsy Tattered Angels kit that I share in my shop or sell. And then I have Curious. My Curious bottle was a little bit low, so I added a little bit of water. Know that when you get down to like the bottom, you know, like third or fourth, very close to the bottom, and you want to get that last bit out of there, just add a little bit of water. It's, it's all water soluble. All right, so I'm going to spritz this all over. And I'm going to do a little bit of the Curious. And I want just a touch of green, so I'm going to grab from the Punked Out Steam Kit, Punked Lime, and add just a little bit of green to that. So it's going to kind of give a mottled effect, and it's going to be on the dictionary page side. So I'm going to grab another sheet of paper here, and we're going to mop up what's on top. And then what I like to do is go ahead and spritz the backside just a little bit with the same colors and that'll intensify the color and it'll pull it full through on both sides. So now we have this piece of paper, isn't that fun, that we can use. So I'm going to set that aside. And then we've got that net pattern now on here. So I'm going to go ahead and turn this over and I'm just going to spritz the backside without the stencil. And then I'm going to dry this with my heat tool. I went ahead and cut up some scrapbook paper to be some of my journal pages. And when I did, I had pieces left over and I decided to take this piece that was left over and cut it in half. And then I'm going to fold this in half. And I thought this would make a pretty quick way to do a journal page so that we can have a tuck spot. So I'm going to glue this here and here. I'm going to take another one and put it on this side and do the same thing. And I'm going to do that for both of these pages and that's going to create two journal pages, one for each of the journals that I'm making today. Now you want to put glue on both sides of your folded piece of paper across the top and the bottom. And then I'm just going to take my page and lay it into 
the folded piece, kind of lining it up, and then I can fold this over and press it into place. And I'm going to repeat that on the other page and other side. So now I've got this page that is going to have pockets. So now we have a place where we can tuck a few things in there. Now if you want, and I think I'm going to do that now, I was trying to figure out a way to add a little bit more journaling space, and I've got some of these little notepads. And I think what I'm going to do is even though I've sprayed this with tattered angels in the background, I think I want to put this in the center and you'll have a little bit of a place that maybe you can write something underneath the things that you stick into the tuck spot. But first, before I do that, I think I want to take, I'm going to take four of these because I'm going to do it, or no, I'm going to do two. I'm just going to do it on the opposite side. So just the two of them. And let's spray these with tattered angels. I'm going to use the same stencil design. You know, sometimes I come up with a plan and I start to do something and I change my mind. That's okay. It's okay to change your mind while you are creating. All right, so I'm going to get the artsy patina and spritz through there. And I think that's going to give, oh, cool. It's going to give a nice little texture and design. I didn't mop up, so I'm just going to flip it over and stick it on the paper that's in the box already. So it'll have some interesting textures to it and maybe I can have that as a mop-up page giveaway later on. Yeah, I think that would look really cute right there. I'm going to go ahead and uh, glue these down here. Alright, so that gives this page a little bit more stability because that dictionary page was kind of thin. So now, when I fold this in half, We'll have just a little bit of a space here where the pocket is. You can see the green. So you kind of get a little bit of difference of color and texture. Now, I didn't do any decorative things here, so I think what I'm going to do is stamp on this now. I've got, I've got the shabby stitches here, and I think the shabby stitches would look good. So I'm going to stamp right across the top. So it's going to give it a look like we sewed upon it. I'm going to just add a little bit of detail. I'm going to go ahead and do the same thing on the other side. I'm going to repeat that on this one as well. I've got a couple of these little tags, and I thought they might look kind of cute if I stuck one kind of in the pockets here. So I'm just going to grab a couple and stick them in there. And I've got some of these little fussy cut elements that are from Calico Collage, and I think I want to put some on top. So I'm kind of playing around to see which one would look the best. I think that one would be cute right there, so I'm just going to glue that down. And on this side, I think I'm going to grab uh, some of the sayings. I've got this one that says, Hit the Waves, and this one says, Beach Bum. So I'm just going to glue those on. I think I may glue them over here. I think that would be cuter on top of the blue. All right, so I think that for now, these are pretty cute the way that they are. I'm not going to put anything on the inside at the moment. Maybe I'll find something at the end, or I'll let whoever gets these journals finish adding some items. So I'm going to set those aside. I have a couple of mop-up page pieces that I cut down to be a journal size. So let's look at these and see what we can do to decorate those out. So I'm thinking this is the half page. What do I want to do to this page that might be kind of cute? I think what I'm going to do is grab some of the Beeline Design Stamps. This one is like, it's called Feathery, so it's supposed to be kind of like seaweed, if you will. And I think it would look kind of neat if we stamped it around the edges. So I'm going to grab some ink here and just kind of add a little bit around the edge. I think that looks kind of cute, doesn't it? And it still leaves you room to write. So I'm going to do that all the way around on both sides of the piece of paper. I 
think it does look like seaweed creeping in. All right, so I'm going to do that to the other piece and the backside as well. You know, think outside the box when you're using your rubber stamps. You know, you don't have to use the whole image on whatever projects. You can use a portion of it. Okay, I've got some of the sayings that I'm going to pull out here. And we're going to add some to these. I think this one needs to be trimmed, so I'm going to grab my scissors. And beach days are the best days. So I'm just going to kind of cut it. So it could be beach days are the best days. Maybe kind of like that. Beach hair, I don't care. So I'm going to put that over here. It's kind of fun just to grab these little sayings and put them wherever. Vitamin C boosts joy. And I think that could go. Let's put it down here on the bottom. And this one says, I love the beach. So we'll put that one over here. I think the little seashells could go in the corner. Just as an added decoration on the page. What is your favorite beach thing to do? Are you one that likes to sit under a umbrella in the shade, watching the ocean, watching everybody? Or do you want to be in the water and playing games or snorkeling or maybe scuba diving? Maybe you just like to swim. You may just like to float. I like to, to snorkel float. So what I'll do is I'll put on the snorkeling gear and then I will just kind of float on the water. All right, I'm going to go ahead and put some of these little shell type images on the inside and glue those down. I think those are cute. So that's two more pages that we can use in our journal. I got a couple of more little pages here. These were scraps of a scrapbook paper that I have. So I'm trying to look at it, decide what do I want to put on those. And I think what I'm going to do is let's spray the back side with some tattered angels. And let's pick a different stencil. I have the spinning flowers. That's what I call these, or you may call them pinwheels, but I kind of think they look like little plumeria flowers, maybe, that you kind of find in tropical areas. And since the front side is kind of blue, let me grab some blues. I have the blue steam. It's a real pretty blue. I don't use it that often because it's kind of dark, but I think it would look good. Just giving it a light mist all the way around. I'm going to grab a piece of paper and mop up. You know, you get two for the one when you spray on the back of a stencil because whatever is on top of that plastic part of the stencil will be there for you to mop up. So that's mopping it up. And that's what our page backs look like. I have these little uh, chipboard seahorses in my shop and I think they would just be really cute on here without even painting them. I think they would be kind of fun to put on there. So I'm going to go ahead and glue those down just the way they are. All right, so I have one of the sea oats, I believe it is, and this is the long one. There's two kinds. That I have in my shop but I think this would look kind of neat if we stamp it across the bottom. Doesn't that look kind of cool? Just kind of stamped across the bottom. I'm gonna go ahead and put a little bit over here as well and then if we were to fold this in half so that kind of gives a little bit of decoration. You still have a place that you can write 
and you can write on this side as well. All right, so I'm gonna set that aside and let's do the next one. I like it. All right, so we've made three journal pages so far and I've got two more scrapbook papers here. And I think what I'm going to do with these is I'm gonna spray the back side just a little bit. No, I'm gonna do it differently. I'm gonna use my blending brush. I'm gonna grab some ink and we're gonna kind of add a little bit of color here and there. I've got Mermaid Lagoon and I've got one of these blending makeup brushes. I find these are pretty fun to use. I found them on Amazon. I got a set of 10 for like $10. I'll have the link in the description box, but they're pretty fun because I can just kind of add a little bit here and there, wherever I want. And it just kind of transfers a really fun pattern. If you're heavy handed, you can make it darker. If you're lighter handed with it, it doesn't have to be near as heavy or dark. So I'm gonna kind of match this up a little bit and continue on. I'm gonna do that again to the other piece that I have here. And then when I'm done, I will just wash this out and I can reuse it for a different color. All right, y'all, Henry just yelled at me. We have got to go. I am going on vacation. I am not gonna be able to finish this journal before we leave. So I'm just gonna do it when I get back. But I do want you to head on over to lindaisrael.com and look for those mini journals. Also, I wanna make sure that you create a user account while you're there and then come back to this video and leave a comment that you have created a user account and you're looking forward to seeing this journal when it's finished. And I'll have this finished and do a little video when I get back and share that with y'all. I wanna thank you so much for following me, for being being a part of my life in this wonderful journey of creating art. It has always been my dream to be a full-time artist and now I'm doing that, but it is time for me to go on vacation. So y'all take care and I'll see you when I get back. Lots of love to y'all. Bye everybody.